Part of a landmark building in downtown Wilkesbury, no match for those fierce winds. The roof of City Hall was severely damaged this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller is live this hour right near City Hall where details are in place tonight. Mark. Nick, these detours were set up shortly after winds struck with a vengeance around 8.30 this morning. The roof damage at City Hall is so severe that workers there will likely be kept out of the building for at least the next couple of weeks. A bird's eye view reveals the startling damage to the roof of Wilkesbury City Hall. I wasn't expecting the roof to be completely torn off like that. 570 drone videographer Jonathan Edwards captured images of the devastation atop the 19th century four-story building. When I saw that, I, I, it kind of blew me away. I mean, no pun intended. It kind of blew me away. The view from above reveals two sections of where the roof was peeled back, one along North Washington Street and the other along East Market Street. That thing's completely shorn off. Um, you ever see a video of a sheep being shorn? That, that's exactly what it looks like. From the ground, city leaders and first responders made safety job one. They evacuated City Hall and formed a perimeter around the building to keep pedestrians and drivers away from the scene. I don't want people in any way jeopardizing their safety, but now we're looking at structurally what can we do? Temporary repairs were put on hold because there was too much debris to install a protective tarp on the roof. It likely means City Hall workers will be kept out of the building for at least two weeks. The main thing is, Mark, we're reacting to it now. We have a great team in place. I have a lot of confidence in my team. And it's one more thing we're going to take care of. Until the city hall roof can be repaired, key members of the Brown administration will work out of a temporary command center set up at Toyota Sportsplex at Cole Street Park. We're live in Wilkesbury this hour. Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. It's great news that nobody got hurt too there. It could have happened easily, right? Mark, thank you.